That rock is seen on the floor of the House chamber, a Democratic protest to force votes on gun control. This is a fight that appears to be far from over this morning. NBC national correspondent Peter Alexander is at the Capitol for us. Peter, good morning. Hey, Savannah, make no mistake, this was dramatic, like nothing we have ever seen before. Truly one of the most dramatic demonstrations on the House floor in modern American history. I just left the House chamber a moment ago. We're going to put up a live picture right now. There are still more than a dozen Democrats in the chamber participating as part of the stage sit-in, some bringing pillows. They ate pizza on the floor overnight. Paul Ryan overnight, that Republican House Speaker, muscled through the rest of the week's business, then adjourned without any votes scheduled on guns, and Congress won't really be back in session until July 5th. 88. The clerk will read. Overnight, a Democratic rebellion on the House floor, demanding a vote on gun control. A recorded vote is requested. Chaos erupting as Republican House Speaker Paul Ryan tried to restore order. But the chair would hope that the business of the House could be conducted. The demonstration producing this partisan confrontation. Radical Islam kills the people. Democrats with signs bearing the names and faces of gun violence victims, breaking into song, rewriting the chorus to We Shall Overcome. Their voices echoed on the Capitol steps, hundreds gathering in support, rallied by Congressman John Lewis, the civil rights icon who spearheaded Wednesday's sit-in. You must never, ever give up or give in or give out. Yeah. I felt like I was reliving my life all over again. Speaker Paul Ryan earlier dismissing the demonstration. Well, this is nothing more than a publicity stunt. This isn't trying to come up with a solution to a problem. This is trying to get attention. The unprecedented drama beginning Wednesday morning. We will occupy this floor. <laughs> Loud chants disrupting the House session. The House will be in order. Republicans forced to go into recess. The cameras showing the sit-in turned off. Cameras controlled by the Republican House Speaker. Democrats taking to social media, producing their own broadcast, violating House rules. Give us the right to vote on these two bills. Help make America safer, and let's do it now. Hillary Clinton standing by the sit-in, tweeting, House Republicans may have cut the cameras, but they can't cut off our voices. The Democrats want votes on background checks and a no-fly, no-buy bill, blocking gun sales to suspected terrorists. But House Republicans aren't backing down. One conservative, Steve King, tweeting, I've had it with the gun-grabbing Democrats and their sit-in anti-Second Amendment jihad. I'm going to go home and buy a new gun. Again, another live picture from the House floor right now. There you can see the House Minority Leader Nancy Pelosi addressing the Democrats as part of this stage sit-in. So where does it go from here? Congressman John Lewis overnight passionately addressing, addressing Democrats saying, we have other bridges to cross. On July 5th, we will be back to start over again. Matt and Savannah. All right, Peter Alexander, as this unfolds on Capitol Hill, thank you. Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.